What we have here is the power supply unit from an Emco Compact 5 CNC lathe. It's got a multi voltage output transformer which is at the top. The contactor which is operated by the key switch and stops, it, it comes out of contact, goes open circuit with the depression of the emergency stop. The various voltages, 5 volt and the 16 volt are both fused, also at the top of the board. Uh, the terminal block across the bottom is X11 and that's where the outputs of the various voltages are taken from to be taken around to the various parts of the machine. On terminal 6 there's a common zero to all of the out output DC voltage voltages. So we'll start by checking on terminal 2 which is the 40 volt circuit but because there's no load on the circuit we would expect to see something greater than the 40 volts possibly 50 volts you can see on the meter there that we're recording 56.5 volts that's on terminal 2 between terminal 2 and terminal 6 terminal 3 we should be seeing 10 volts or more there. Uh, it's uh, nearly 17 volts, 16.9 volts. Terminal 4 should be 16 volts and it's 19 volts. Terminal 5 is the 5 volt output line, which is much closer, which is as you would expect the 5 volts to be closer because of it has to be a controlled voltage for the electronic circuits. If you lose the 5 volts you lose the onboard computer and you'll also lose the axis readout. If you lose the 40 volts that's what's given to the stepper motors as a quick burst of fire when they first start. You will only have slow movement of the steppers. If you lose the 10 volt circuit, the steppers won't work at all. The 16 volt circuit is fed to the uh, tape machine. So if you lose any of those small voltages from the bottom, some of the functions are not going to work correctly on the machine itself. This, uh, this view is of the top end of the power supply unit block. The Fuse E7 is a 16 amp ceramic fuse. It's got a reference number D01GG. If you're not familiar with this type of fuse, I'll take it out so you can see it. It has a ceramic body. In the end, there's a glass indicator, so if the fuse is blown, ruptured, it blows off the indicator. To insert it, push it into the holder. Screw down until you meet, meet resistance and then just give it a little touch more to make sure. Now this E7 is on the uh, 
10 volt circuit. It collects the AC direct from the transformer on this line through the fuse and from the fuse it goes into the rectifier. And the other leg of the transformer goes to the diagonally opposite leg of the rectifier. And the two other diagonally opposite legs are the positive DC and the negative DC. And those two cables pass under the transformer and come back onto the and connect onto the tops of the three capacitors and they're connected in parallel and from there it goes down onto the terminal block which I described earlier over at this point make sure you can see it is the contactor which is a safety contactor it's controlled by the key switch and uh, if you operate the emergency stop switch it disconnects this circuit and if you do operate the emergency stop switch after you've reinstated it by twisting it slightly to the uh, in a clockwise direction to reset the emergency stop switch you have to switch the key switch to an off position otherwise this contactor won't re-engage it's a feature known as no volt protection so if you lose a voltage to the lathe from your power supply it will uh, trip the contactor and you would need to reset the key switch before you could reinstate the supply The other fuses that you can see located on the board, there are three in this position. You've got two at this point, two fuses there, and a further one here. This one is E3. You have E1 and E6. E1 is for the 5 volt circuit. E6 is the for the 16 volt circuit and E3 is for the 40 volt circuit and you can see each of those circuits has their own onboard bridge rectifier that's for the uh, 40 volt these are off, off uh, E1 for the uh, sorry off off yeah off E1 and further down on the board you see there are more fuses E4 which is the fuse for the mains coming into the board that's to power up the transformer that's, a, that's for an AC circuit and the further one to the left labelled up as E2 and I believe that powers up the control circuit I think that powers up the control circuit for the contactor. Further to that you have a, a stud with a hexagon nut for the earth for the ground connection. And this, as you can see, the board number 
A6A slash C 111001 which indicates it's for 230 volt AC supply. You see the marking, the numbering of the connector on the bottom. This connector is termed X11. And terminal 6, terminal 6 on X11 is a negative and it's common to all of the low voltage supplies starting from terminal 2, 3, 4 and 5 are the low voltage supplies out from the power supply unit. So between any one of those and terminal 6 is where you should be getting your test voltage to ensure that the power supply unit board is functioning correctly. I hope that's of some help. That's all for now.